Hey, what's going on YouTube? This goes out to all my viewers and subscribers. If you happen to be in an interracial relationship, let me tell you something. Don't ever feel uncomfortable. You do what you do. Don't ever let anyone try to tell you how to love. No man can legislate love. They can't do it. It's spiritual. Nobody can understand it. All right? What they see, you're black and you with that Asian or Indian or Caucasian or Arabic female, right? Or African female, dark skinned African from Ethiopia or Nigeria, they're like, shit, how could you do that? Like, you gotta, we gotta stick together. Bullshit. Yes, I know African-American women who have been dating African-American men all their lives. They never achieved nothing. But the minute that they switched it to Asian or Caucasian or Indian or uh, Asian guy, things start getting better. It's vice versa. I know African-American men who have been with African American women. It's nothing but baby mama drama, uh, tearing tearing uh, tearing the te tearing the house apart. You know, it's dramas after drama. It's it's problems, no solution, no respect. Nothing is working. But the minute that they stop to another race, everything is good. Everything is fine. Same thing applies to white men. They've been dating white women all their lives. And these women are trashy, lazy. They don't want to do anything. They just want to get drunk. And they fucking cheating on the guy. The minute that he stopped dating Caucasian females to a black female or Latina. Let me tell you something. The man feels like a king because he's the happiest man in the world. Don't ever let anyone come to your world and trying to tell you how to rule it. This is your life, my man. See, that's your vessel. You control this. As long as the spirit is in your vessel, you are in control. All right? Don't let people tell you how to love, how to do things, how to take certain initiatives. Don't let them do that. Do not allow anyone to tell you how to live your life, okay? One life to live. If you choose to follow someone and then you feel miserable by doing this, it's your choice, bro. You see me, I don't care where you're from. African, Asian, Indian, Caucasian, you name it. Arabic, as long as you respect me. You're not with me because of a few dollars. Just like these Hollywood whores. As long as you love me for me, I'll do anything for you. That's me. All right? I'm not out there to tell you don't date the white women. Don't date the Asian women. I'm not about that. This is your life. As long as she's making she makes you as long as she makes you happy, go for it. Hey, if you feel like MGTOW. All right, men go their own way is the way because I believe that in certain circumstances, that's what you have to do. My man, you do what you do. Don't try to let anyone fuck your life over. See, a lot of time you see in the black community, we're always looking for a leader. You are your own leader. That's why you're always misled by your leader. They come to the community saying that, man, I got something for, the, for, for you to protect you from the white man. I can speak different languages. I'm going to sell these books. When the books don't work, you go on my website and you click on the refund button. When you check, there's nothing that says refund. You got fucked. You thought that this man could correct your status? A lot of times, see, people don't think. The same people were saying that you don't need an attorney. You got to know the laws to deal with white people. When they're in trouble with you, 
What do you think they do? Go speak to my attorney. See, on this land, the United States, each is own. I give it to you, bro. I don't give a fuck. Let me tell you something. If I ever write a book, you're going to get it. I'm going to tell it like it is. I don't beat around the bush. I don't sugarcoat shit. See, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say 9. See, interracial relationships are more likely to last than when, when you're with your own race. Because let me tell you something. It's a it's different culture. I'm going to tell you something that you might think it's funny. When you're dealing with a woman who is not fluent in English or you're a woman from the United States and you're dealing with a man who is not fluent in English. Let me tell you something. This relationship will last forever. Because what the fuck are you guys going to argue about? You're a female. You're from America. The man is from another country. When he's upset, you know, baby, you know, give me a kiss. Because he doesn't know how to really reach you. Same thing happens. I'm telling you, a lot of you over here in the United States are complaining about women. Women are crazy. Women, I don't want to deal with women. Men go their own way. I understand Have that. you ever thought about traveling? Why the fuck you stay in the United States complaining when you have the money to go overseas? There might be a beautiful sister waiting for you that will treat you like a king. Or a beautiful Asian girl. Or Indian girl. Or... A beautiful Latina in South America, Brazil, Chile, uh, Chile, wherever you, like Argentina, I don't know. I don't care. Even right there in Mexico, that will call you poppy every single day, treat you like a king. Same thing applies to women. You tired of brothers and you got some money, instead of like running the man in the house, left and right, uh, Going to church after you had sex with three men, trying to become a spiritual whore, you don't do that. Travel, go overseas. You're gonna, you're gonna find a beautiful Dominican guy, Brazilian guy, you know what I mean? You, African guy, you never know. I don't care, Caucasian guy somewhere, and he loves you for, for you. Respect. There's nothing but joy in the house, beautiful family. You build a family. This is a corporation, the United States. It's hard to find love because the only thing that people are thinking about is bills, bills, bills. How to keep up with my friends. How to keep up with my neighbor. He just got a BMW. I got to I got to get me a Benz. I got to struggle. See, those are the things that are fucking up your relationship, especially if both of you guys are flashy, you guys are always going to be broke. If you all happen to be black, I'm saying this because I'm a black man, and you are in a healthy relationship with a black woman, my man, don't let her go. But if you're struggling, if every time you get a black woman, she comes to the house, she's nasty, she does not clean after herself, she's uh, combative, she's agitative, she's always trying to come up with a problem, she's a drama queen, leave her alone, drop her and then fly overseas, you're going to find love, I guarantee you. Hey, I'm pro-interracial as long as it works. You don't get a white woman, Latina woman, to come to your house to fight with you. For what? Might as well stay with my black woman. A lot of brothers out there wanted to be with a black woman. Guess what? They don't want to take us seriously. Facts. Now, a lot of people will say, man, why are you dealing with a white woman? Because motherfuckers, when I was trying to get y'all asses, guess what you said? Yeah, probably have your little white girl and then trying to fuck. Mm -hmm. 
I'm trying to smack. Nah. Yeah, if you wanna fuck, just, 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 just don't beat around the bush. Just say you wanna fuck. It's, it's okay, dude. Oh, really? I came to address you with respect. And you just put yourself down to the ground like a piece of trash. Don't take me seriously. Every time you, I go to the bar, like talk about New York City, man. Go to the bar, restaurant, couldn't find a black woman to take me seriously. I'm telling you, a lot of you probably, you know, victimized by that shit. And you get tired, you try, you just say, let me try another race. At least they might take me seriously. But when they see you with another race, they think that you don't want to be with black women. Uh, what's wrong with us? What's wrong with us? Because y'all, you, you guys were playing games. I didn't want to do shit. And now you see me doing, you know, making progress, doing big stuff, uh, big cars. I'm a big boy. I'm doing big shit. He, I, th I think he was serious. Too late, bitch. Too late. A lot of you men, too. You just want to fuck the black woman. I don't want to do anything serious with her. See? I look at things at both sides of the ledger. I'm not attacking one side. I'm shaking everybody up. If it does not work for you, find something that works. And so far, to be honest with you, interracial is what seems to be working now. Everybody's saying the black woman got a big mouth. She cannot... Uh, you cannot deal with her. You cannot tell her what to do. Well, guess what? When I see when I see uh, these black women with the white boys, they behave like little princesses. See, the some there's a problem. Why she behaves normal when she's with another race, and when she's with you, she behaves like a monster. Something there's there's a problem. Something does not click. There's something missing. What's going on? The last thing that I want is a woman in my house that will make me feel like shit every night before I go to bed. I'd rather die. It's in life. A woman was designed to help you, to be your support, to keep you happy. That's your other side. That's your other part. If she's in the house every time before you walk in, you go like, man, that bitch. This in your place. Get the fuck out. Even if you don't know where you're going. Even in the Bible, even the Bible says, it's better to live in a desert by yourself than to, than to be in a house than, than to live in a house with an angry woman. Why would you want to put yourself in a situation like this? And most of the time, you guys keep trying, trying to make it work. You guys end up killing each other because none of you had a guiding light. If you've been dealing with black men all your life, it doesn't work. Try a white man. Try a Indian man, a Latino man, a Asian man. Try another race. You've been dealing with black uh, women all your life. It doesn't work for you. It didn't work for you. Try another race. I don't care who you try. But don't be out there and go crazy and say, hey, man, I don't know why is that. Uh, when, when, when black men starts making money, they go for another race. Do you know his relationship's history? Do you know how long he's been suffering trying to find a woman who, look, who looks just like him to build a family and then he never could? The minute that he got some money, found somebody, even though that love might be fake, but guess what? She it doesn't give him trouble to get the cookie. She's not out there calling him Negro. Or say, nigga, please, shut the fuck up.
No. Hey, daddy. See, black men like to be called dad. You know, if you're from another race and you're trying to hook with a brother, so it's a, it's a hint right there. Hey, daddy. They're like, yeah, oh, and she called me daddy. Can you believe this shit, bro? <laughs> we get excited. And Latina, that may, that may, that's, 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 that's one. You see, you don't want these women around black men because once they call us pappy, I don't know, for whatever reason, there's a bell that rings inside our head. Pappy, the voice, the way that they said, and, and especially if she's on point and she's beautiful, let me tell you something. She'll make you lose your mind faster than the liquor. See, it's about love. That's what this is about. As long as you're with your man, your man makes you happy. He keeps you happy. I don't give a fuck how it looks. As long as you have your woman and your woman keeps you happy, my man, I don't give a fuck how she looks. Do what you do. And if you disagree with what I'm talking about, you think you're going to put some bad comment calling me fucking coon or whatever it is that you guys want to call me. You know what? Fuck you very much.